Okay, so the KTMX Hansa 2021 for NFS Most Wanted 2005. Early access has released and those of you who are able to access it from my Patreon needs to install it. And of course, since it's a cutting edge graphics mod, the installation itself is going to be cutting edge difficult. And for that reason, I have come up with a tutorial for everyone so that you can actually install it and play it as easy as possible. So to get started, of course, the first thing you are going to do is download the files. And what do you do after downloading the files? Well, you are going to go to your game folder. Because before installing a graphics mod, you need to have the game. So let's go to our game folder. Here we are. It could be it could be named anything. It could be NFS Most Wanted, it could be 2005. But to install this, firstly we'll have to open up our zip that you will be able to download from my Patreon or, web or website, whatever the link I'll give you. So this is the mod zip and let's just open that up. So inside it we have a lot of files. Just select all, right click, copy, go back to your game folder, right click and paste them. It's big so it will take you some time. Now since I have already installed this, you, I just don't need to replace them. I'll just close it for now. The next tab uh, you're gonna take is you're going to go to our script folder. Now here you see that reshade is installed under this folder. But to actually get the ray tracing you need RTGI from Pascal Glitcher which I cannot give you because only the people who are um, able to access it from his Patreon are going to be able to use it. And I'm not allowed to show you the files inside RTGI so I'll give you a link in my website, you just have to go there, download RTGI shader and just paste here. You'll have instruction in Pascal Glitcher's Patreon. And once you install the RTGI shader, scroll down, you'll see textmod.exe. This also comes with my mod zip. So once you open it, click on the large um, folder icon, go to your game folder, select speed.exe. After that in the middle you'll see another folder icon so just click on browse and inside a game folder you'll see nfsmw ktmxhensor.tpf, click on that, click on it and then run. Now since it is very big in size it will take you some time and as the game is quite old, it does have a little problem loading HD textures. But you'll just have to wait a minute and it'll run. Okie dokie. So our game has started and it seems like graphics are working. But what you'll not see is the the ray tracing graphics it's because a reshade is not set up yet so what you have to do is click on home to bring up our reshade menu go to settings and down there you'll see a couple of folders so in the effects search paths you'll have to click on plus then you'll just have to go to our game folder script folder and you'll have to choose shader folder just like I have done here you also have to add Quint, Astro FX and RTGI folder from shaders and uh, textures from here I've already done that but you'll have to do it yourself and then just click on select once you do that go to home here you'll see two presets Okay, so about these two presets, you'll just, you know, if you don't find them, just click on the A's and then you'll just have to go to your game folder and script. And here you'll see two 
ini files one is ktmx sensor with and the other is without that now the one that um, called wet is for rainy weather and the other one is for sunny and literally any other weather and just select according to your weather and then just go down and click on reload once you reload press home again to hide it and enjoy your game thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one